this is gonna be a very basic guide. First off, let me start by showing you if you hit F2 you will bring up your inventory. You can drag out stuff from your inventory and down to the bars. In this menu you also have a mission log where you can see what your current mission is. This little icon shows you that you're tracking it on your Hunter Made PDA. You have this which is skills where you decide if you want to be a stalker or an ambusher. Each of the trees has different benefits. There's also this thing called perks. Perks is a way of kind of specializing in rifles, handguns, shotguns or archery depending on what you would like to hunt with. Now, the purpose of this game is to gain experience and cash. The experience you need to level up so you will be able to get better equipment. The cash you need to be able to buy that equipment. You can gain cash by either doing missions or hunting animals. One of the things that you really have to pay attention to when you're hunting is the bars you have down on the right. There is a compass with a green cone on. This is the wind. The wind is currently blowing in this direction. Now the other boxes you have down here in the corner is the first one to your right is the sound you're making. The noise you're making while running is kinda high. If you're starting to crouch you make a lot less noise. The icon next to it is how visible you are to the animals. The hardest shows your pulse. If your pulse is too high you will have a hard time keeping a steady aim when you're trying to aim. Just look at this. My aim is all over the place. If you let the heart settle down, hold your breath by pressing the left shift button, you will be able to take a perfect shot. Now if you're proning or crouching, you will be able to steady the aim even more. If you look at the map, you have these green binoculars around. These are lookout points. When you go up to these and survey them, your map will look like this after you've done that. These are points of interest. This is the one we're going to be focusing on. It's an outpost. These are crucial in this game. The other question marks can be hunting stands or other points of interest of some sort. Here we have some tracks. These are currently white. As soon as I examine them, they will turn bright blue. You can see down at the hunter mate that I'm currently making a path of tracks from the animal that I'm currently tracking. All tracks from the same animal will light up blue. If I meet a track from another animal, that will be white. When you examine an animal track, it will give you the info if it's running, trotting or walking. You can also track animal calls. This is a warning call. This means this black-tailed deer knows that something is up. You can bring up your binoculars, look at the animal to gain some spotting info on it. At the moment it is traveling. You can call in the animal by using the bleed caller. This one works for black tails and white tails only. There is callers for nearly all animals in the game except the bison. You can also get scent sprays which help out as well. When you're calling in an animal you want to be as quiet as possible and don't move around a lot. This will make them come closer. Now whenever you're shooting at an animal try to make sure to hit the vitals. The vitals being heart and lung. This should be somewhat around the area where the lung is. Now as we are approaching we see this is a pretty good hit. There is a lot of blood and it's a vital hit. Now we just have to track down the animal. We've just found our animal. Let's just collect it and see this kill screen. Now you can here see where you hit it, what you shot with and all this info about the animal itself. Here we are finally arriving at our outpost. Now these are crucial in this game. Once you've claimed the outpost you can go here to rest which is basically a way where you can decide what time you want to hunt and also get your life back up. You also unlock this. This is the cache which is basically your store. Here you can buy the different types of rifles which all unlock throughout the game as you progress. You have to shoot rifles to get rifle score. Handguns vice versa. If you look here at the ammunition it says what weapon class the weapons are. You can shoot all animals with all the weapon classes but if you want to have full integrity you have to use appropriate weapons for the appropriate species. Now whenever you buy something like this you have to go to the storage to pull it to your inventory, else you will not be able to use it. You have to go into your inventory, press the weapon and then press on the desired bullets. Now you have equipped the polymer tip bullets instead. If you want to play a different reserve, you simply press M, go down in the right hand corner where it says show reserve selection and you pick the reserve you want to play. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching.